Hey guys, welcome back to more, um, Rugrats Scavenger Hunt. I couldn't remember the name for a second. I was like, Rugrats Adventure! And that wasn't right at all. So, yeah. Anyway, welcome back. It's been a while. It's been like, um, two like weeks since we've seen now? this. Whoa, don't talk over me, dude. I don't, I don't need to hear your commentary. Um, anyway, um, today we're playing Pirate Treasure Hunt. Um, I'll just give the basics behind this first. Pirate Treasure Hunt is just like Angelica's Temple, except you're underwater, so it's really cool. I love that about it. Um, but it's also, the babies aren't on a team. Everybody's playing individually. So, um, anyway, we're going to do a medium-sized board again. I will be playing as Tommy once again, and let's get started. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, now that we've done the team effort, which uh, I pretty much love every single, uh, I want to say, like, edition of this game, or this game, not like the whole game entirely, but this little section of it. Um, I love each of those editions because they're all kind of the same, so they keep the same style, but then little details like that are different, like, you know, the one's team players against Angelica, and then this one's just, like, all the babies individually, and you have to find, um, so many treasure pieces. I'm, I'm sure we'll get more into it when we actually start the board. Hey, there's Susie. We haven't seen her yet. Um, I'll explain what she does also. And then the... The grand finale of this project, which is actually next weekend, um, is the Reptar board, and that is probably one of my favorites. Every time I pick up this game after it's been a while, I'm like, oh, I don't remember if I liked that one, and then I play it, and I'm like, wait, I love this one. I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, they really kept the style well with these games, and I, I really enjoy all of their different types. And they pretty much talked over every single bit of storyline just now, but whatever. Um, search for the sunken pirate treasure, the baby who finds all of their treasure first wins. Um, so this one's a little bit more competitive in that respect. Um, you've got the same kind of stuff. You've got your spin, toy cards, just like in the last one, view entire game board in case you get lost, trade cookies for energy, and player status. And this is where it shows your treasure. So we need a necklace, a golden ring, a diamond ring, and a ruby, it looks like, um, and I believe you can steal from each other in certain circumstances, and um, Susie will help you, I can't remember if she helps you either get past Angelica or find a piece of treasure. Um, either way, it's something good. Sweet! We got a necklace! Um, cause Tommy loves wearing necklaces. Now what? Now what? your face. Anyway, um, I feel like this board has the ability to take less time than um, Angelica's Temple. Um, pretty much because you only have to get four pieces of treasure. Um, but anyway, you know, if, that's obviously easier than getting like an entire group of statue pieces. In my opinion. I don't know. Maybe this board will prove me wrong. But... Um, and I believe the setup's the same, like if the... You pick the same one, what? Pick again. Oh, I was like, what is she doing? Uh, if you find all the treasure pieces in an area, then... Okie dokie. Um, the spying glass... Uh, the spying glass things. What am I trying to say? Magnifying glass! There we go. The magnifying glass um, spaces. They will turn into safety spots again. So you can have a sandbox underwater! Which totally makes sense, but at the same time it... Okay, that makes sense, but at the same time it doesn't make sense because, like, sand is so different underwater. Isn't that weird? That's so strange to me now that I just thought about that. Hey, we didn't see that room in Saturday Morning Cartoons! Um, bigger board equals bigger opportunity. Anyway, I'm done being annoying. Hey, I wanted to go that way. Whatever. Whoa, Grandpa popped up behind me like... What's up? Why are Chucky and Lil so tiny? That was really interesting. Um, so, anyway... Let's see, what am I... Oh, that's something I wanted to talk about. Um, I do have a rant for this video, which is actually kind of rare, because I don't feel like I have many rants all the time. Um, 
I usually have like situations to talk about or something, if that makes sense, or fun story time or something along those lines. Okay, good. This isn't against me. Um, and by the way, this is just like rock, paper, scissors, if you couldn't tell. Um, so yeah, and you play that for cookies, or I believe if you have any treasure, you play it for treasure. Um, and I think you just get it if you land on the same space as another baby. So it's kind of like Mario Party, like land on the same space in the last five turns, only in this game you don't have to be on the last five turns because there's no set turn amount. Um, so anyway, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like I rant a lot. Um, I guess I might, but it's usually more spontaneous than something I've thought about, um, if that makes sense. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to talk about um, all the comments I got for this uh, video. Uh, not last week, but two weeks ago, last time I updated. Which it kind of sucked because, like, I, oh, I was like, yay, new project! And then I was like, oh, we only updated once and we're already taking a break. Like, that's not good. Um, I know, it couldn't really be helped, but at the same time, it's like, oh no, so whatever. But something that's really interesting that um, I saw in the comments, and this is just amusing to me, I guess, but is the fact that like, so many people love this show, and going back and looking through comments, every single episode people pointed out, like, I remembered the certain details they pointed out specifically because they were so, like, um, such good shows. Like, I don't know, like, such good episodes. I, I loved it. Um, and what's interesting is that most people don't have the same one. Like, there were so many good episodes in this series that I don't feel like many people have the same one. They're all different, but they're all really, really good. Like, everything I read about was like, oh my god, I love that episode too! Like, it, there wasn't one where I was like, why would you like that video? You know, like, some shows, or not video, but episode, I feel like some shows it's like that, where it's like they're only... There are those really good ones that you remember, but not every single one is kind of, like, fantastic. And, I mean, obviously the show has some episodes that I didn't like as much as others, but... Okay, I guess I'm gonna take a nap underwater, which doesn't make sense. Um, but anyway, it's still just, like, um, it just shows how... What? I want to turn into Reptar! Anyway, it just shows how how great the show was when it was at its peak. Let's just say that much. How is there a dust bunny underwater? Doesn't one of the babies say that? That totally doesn't make any sense anyway. I think one of the babies does say that. That's really weird, but I, I didn't mean to say that on purpose either. That's bizarre. Um, I will say one episode that I saw up here a couple times, and I don't believe I pointed this out last time, but I did in Saturday Morning Cartoons, and oh my god, if these two land on the same space again, I'm going to punch them both in the face. Um, that was the most annoying thing I've ever heard. Anyway, um, yeah, what was I talking Oh, the episodes. Um, the one that I saw, yeah, more than once. I saw it like four times, and I did get a lot of comments in the last episodes, um, episodes? Episode. No, there haven't been more than one episode of this. Um, was the, um, what am I talking about? I'm going to start over because I just used the wrong word like seven times. Okay, back to base. Um, okay, let me start over completely. In the comments of the last video I posted of this project, and let's go in here because I'm tired of being out here. Um, there was the same episode of Rugrats posted like four times for somebody's favorite. Um, and I agreed with it in the respect that... Why did I just say that with an accent? That it was really um, unique and one of my favorites. And I think I pointed it out in Saturday Morning Cartoons. Blah! Getting to the point now that it's been 20 minutes. Um, it's the episode where Angelica dreams that she's getting a little brother. Like, <laughs> and she dreams of, like, that huge baby in the crib, and she's, like, all distraught, and her parents, like, abuse her or whatever, and don't feed her, and it's all for the new baby, and he's just, like, this gigantic, like, there's no way. Did they really land on the same space again? 
That's every single turn. Stop! Anyway. Um, but I know I pointed that out in Saturday Morning Cartoons. That I really did love that episode. And um, I find it funny that so many people um, chose that one too. Because like, that episode really was like amazing. Um, I, don't, I think that's the one like she shows the pregnancy test and stuff too. Like her mom does, Angelica's mom. Um, I don't know, I really like that episode too. So, anyway, that took far too long to get to that point. Um, oh yeah, I got cookies because I took a nap again. Why am I sleeping all the time? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, somebody searched one of these barrels earlier and it didn't have anything. Now I get twice well, sweet action! You're a gangsta now. Okay, so I guess I'll move on to my rant. Um, and this actually does have to do with several comments I got in the last, um, the last video of this project. Or, I should say the first oh, video, but whatever. Don't, stop finding all this treasure, I'm not gonna have time to rant. Anyway, um, okay, so last video I said something that was totally legitimate and people blew it out of the water because they always do. Um, and so I have several stories to- Really? Are you kidding me? This is the biggest interruption of my life because this has happened so many times. Just take all of her cookies and eat them if you want them that badly, because she loses every time. Okay, anyway, before I start ranting about that, um, several people left this same kind of comment, and oh, it really was, to me, just kind of like, seriously? Like, no. Don't, just, no. So, anyway, um, okay. Yeah. Baby's gotta do what a baby's I know do. I have to do what I have to do. I just have to try and get the story out, but it's not coming out. Really? I don't want to take a nap again. Okay, after this turn, I promise I'll get this started. One. Oh my god, we're going to the crib because all we ever do is sleep on this board. No wonder I'm losing. Anyway. So the comment was... Um, something along the lines of, way to call Susie the black girl, um, that sounds wrong or racist or something stupid like that. Okay, let me just start out by saying that by stating that and only hearing my voice say that and nothing I had to say after that, um, you're kind of a bad listener to start off, but that's not really my rant. Um, you're just keeping racism out there, like, really? Like, you think you're helping it, and you're actually hurting it. Like, you don't know. And I know that getting into this kind of a rant is going to be a really, really iffy thing, because so many people are so overly sensitive about this subject, um, which I think is just, you know, a form of insecurity within the subject. And I don't mean to pass judgment on anyone, and that is clearly not what I was doing in my last video, but people don't know how to listen after they hear certain words. So, um, yeah, I'm going to rant about it now. And I have no idea how many people are going to be against this or for this, but you know what? It's just pretty ridiculous to me. Is this that room we haven't been in yet? Okay, good. I want it to be in this room. Um, okay, so... When I say Susie is the black girl, if I said Susie is the girl what in the show who's the next door neighbor, okay, oh my god, I'm gonna kill this game. Anyway, if I said that, your automatic thought would be, um, you know, say you didn't even know who Susie was. Um, thank you for taking one of his treasures. Um, and I said, oh yeah, she's the girl who's the next door neighbor. Well, so is, so is Lil. So is Lil. Um, if I said Lil is the white girl who's his next door neighbor, everyone in the show is white, except for one girl. Really? You guys, I really have no idea what's going on with this freaking rock, paper, scissors action, but I'm gonna kill it. Um, <laughs> so not good for this rant, because it keeps interrupting. Um, 
So, yeah, my point is that every single person in the show appears white. And if everybody in the show was black and there was one white person, I would refer to it as she is the white girl in the show. I would not say she's the girl with, like, blue eyes. You know which one I'm talking about? Like, who's gonna know that? Who's gonna be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. She's a girl who wears the pink bow in her hair. And her bow's, like, tiny. Hey, She's the one who, like, Susie doesn't have a twin. Susie doesn't, Susie doesn't wear anything in her hair. Susie does not have an eye color. She has a dotted pen, dotted pupil. Like, that does not, no. Um, but because I said she's the black and stated a color of her skin, that so somehow makes me racist. Like, what? I'm, I'm white. Am I racist towards myself? No. Um, I could, you know, I could do the same thing and say, well, the show's mainly about a, um, baby who's a boy and I'm a girl, so that's sexist. Like, that- I would have one Are you kidding me? Like, no. That's just something that is the just like, why keep that up? What is the need to keep Holy that racism God, going? Because you're the ones causing it. Um, and this just goes into a bigger rant. What is happening? Holy God! How many cookies does he have? Wow. Okay. Anyway. Angelica would be so jealous right now. I'm so jealous right now. I want that many cookies. Um... Going back into racism. Totally does not fit the idea of cookies. But, um, you know what really, really bugs me? And I know, I, I'm, I'm probably gonna cause, like, a huge argument saying so many of these things, but it's just, I'm just expressing my opinion just like anybody else, so whatever. Um, is the fact that when our new president was elected, Nobody saw anything about him. What he did, what he was for. All you ever heard was that he was the first black president. Nothing was ever said about who he was, what he did, his skills, what he would do for the country. Like, most of what you heard was, he's the black president. Now, tell me that's not keeping racism up. And most of the people saying that, um... I mean, obviously they were all races, but real it's just, why is that emphasized? Like, or emphasized, whatever, I can't even say the wor word right anymore. But, um, where have I not searched? There? The real treasure of the deep. Didn't I already get one of those? Okay. Anyway, whoa, Spike's face. Um, like, why was that the only thing noticed about him? It wasn't that he's this great guy, or he did so much, it was that he's black. Like, and that is absolutely terrible, to be the only thing you notice about him. That'd be like if, you know, and I, I already know this is probably going to happen, and this is going to bug the crap out of me too, when it does. When a woman gets elected president for the first time, all anyone's going to say is that she's a woman. Like, they're not going to say what she's going to do for the country or anything about her. They're going to say she's a woman. So it's like, what is wrong with America? Like, seriously? Like, and why I say that is because I have story time now. Um, one of the dance companies I was in, the owner, instructor, worked with a lot of Indian people. And I don't mean Native American. I mean legitimate Indian people from India. Uh, because we did a lot of India dances and shows, um... Uh, in honor of India or their culture or their dance because there is a lot of dance like celebrated over there that? and um, we were going to this big event like a um, big celebration in my state for the Indian culture and we were going to dance at it um, my company and the director and everything well, and he is you this like cookie. tall white man with blonde hair um, like totally blonde hair like noticeably blonde um, you know, and totally fair, like, white skin, like, not anything, um, ethnic at all. And he called, um, the head person of the, um, festival, if you will, or celebration. Hey, she's the first one of those, the first person to get one of those. Anyway, and their question, this was their question. They asked, what are you, what will you be wearing there? 
and he was like, I'll be the one white guy there. Everybody else is going to be Indian. They're, um, I, I promise you I'll stand out because I'll be the only one there that's white with blonde hair. And the guy was just insistent on, he was like, oh, no, no, no. Well, what will you be wearing so we know who you are? And they, he was like, no, seriously, you'll be able to see me and that I'm not Indian. I've... Uh, and he was like, I have blonde hair, like, blue eyes, white skin, and he was like, no, what will you be wearing so we can point you out? Like, he would not give up on the fact that all he saw was what he would be wearing. He didn't see his skin color, he didn't see his ethnicity, he didn't see any of that. He just wanted to know what he would be wearing so he'd be able to point him out, even though he would stick out like a sore thumb in the crowd anyway. And that's not our culture. Um, that's, um, other cultures. Unfortunately, our culture is behind because all we do see is skin color and, you know, it's the same thing with plastic surgery and um, just stupid crap that's like, you know, wh why is that important? And, honey, I just won. Woo! Anyway, um, so I could have honestly ranted about that for longer. Um, I wasn't planning for this to take so little time <laughs> but um anyway that is my argument that's my rant is that like american culture and society only see skin deep and other cultures don't they see past it so stop keeping the racism up stop saying oh you referred to me as the, the white girl or you referred to me as a black girl or, oh i'm the asian like i don't i mean that's the same as pointing to someone and going oh yeah chucky's a redhead like what's the big problem Keeping that racism up is, you know, you're keeping yourself down, so just don't do it. That's my point. And that is the moral of today's episode, so yeah, um, I know, I'll probably get a lot of crap for it, but oh well, it's my opinion, so yeah, thanks guys for watching and listening to my rant, and um, this has been our treasure hunt, so, uh, what, wait, no, that's not my sign off line. I don't know what I was about to say. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Peace out, pimps.